He loves me yesterday, today, and forever. His love will always stay. Matthew 6.34 So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will care for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So he's been talking about this, and now he says, okay, so don't worry about tomorrow. Don't, don't worry about, you know, what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Why? He's explained why. Because of your value. It boils down to, it boils down to the reason you don't have to worry is because of how much God the Father loves you. That's why you don't have to worry. Now, so he's talking about don't worry about tomorrow. That means you're supposed to live today. Now, I'm going to say this because it appears to me by the observation of my 68 years of life that most people either live yesterday or they live tomorrow. Right. The future and the past. They're living in the glory of the, the good old days mm -hmm. or the way things used to be before the job market collapsed or the way things used to be before the housing market collapsed. They're or they're, they're, hoping or for. They're, li they're living in tomorrow. You know, it's going to be great once I get it's going to get, be great once I have. It's going to be great once. And so they're, they're living, their life is wrapped up either in yesterday or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is saying, no, live today. Live today. Now, let's just talk about yesterday for a minute, all right? Don't live yesterday. Mm -hmm. Brethren, I do not regard myself as having laid hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind... Reaching forward to what lies ahead, I press on towards a goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. That's Paul in Philippians chapter 3. Forgetting what lies behind. Now, for us, the redeemed, our past is the testimony of those who have gone before us. It's not what happened to you yesterday, last week or last year. Okay? Mm -hmm. Our yesterday is this. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for. For the conviction of things not seen, for by it the men of old gained approval. That's Hebrews 11, 1 and 2. Right? The men of old. Mm -hmm. Then he goes on in Hebrews 12 and it says, Therefore, since we have so great a cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us also lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangles us and run with endurance the race. Okay? So we have this cloud of witnesses. You see, your past is not what happened to you last week. For the redeemed, your past, your yesterday, your past is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Your yesterday is Moses, David, Peter, and Paul. Our past is in the footsteps of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's the glory of our past. That's that history. That's our, that's our yesterday. And you know what? If you're, if you're relying on what happened to you physically yesterday, you're, you're going to get over it. Tomorrow. Well, it says in Proverbs 27.1, Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. I'm going to tell you, life is fragile. Amen. You have no guarantee of tomorrow. That's right. Whatsoever. No. None whatsoever. Think about this parable that Jesus told. This is from Luke chapter 12. Uh, Jesus told him a parable saying, The land of a rich man was very productive. And he began reasoning to himself saying, What shall I do since I have no place to store my crops? Then he said, this is what I'll do. I will tear down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, you have many goods laid up for many years to come. Take your ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your soul is required of you. Now who will own what you have prepared? Life on this old planet is fragile. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. There will be afflictions. There's no doubt about that. But the promise of God is that He will deliver you. Hallelujah. Your future is not tomorrow. Listen to me now. Your future is not tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Your future is eternity. The perfect peace that we've been talking about, the perfect peace that we're to have, that wipes out all anxiety, mm -hmm. The perfect peace that wipes out all fear is based on your assurance of your future. Because Jesus said, 
Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you. For I go to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Amen. John 14, 1 through 3. Your future is assured. You don't have to worry about tomorrow. Mm. Jesus Christ has taken care of you tomorrow. You don't have to be, you don't have to try and live in the past because you have a glorious past that you can recall. It is Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, Peter, Paul. Mm. It is the saints that have gone on before us. So now what you can do is you can focus on today and live today to the fullest so you don't miss out on God and the things of God. Day by day.